I was a camp nerd. You know what a camp nerd is? The guy that goes and writes stuff down after every session. All right, they used to make fun of me. Oh, I dress for writing stuff down. That's all right. Don't be afraid to be a little different here. So the very first thing you got to really understand is you got to have a go-to takedown. Got to have a go-to takedown. It's got to be a high percentage go-to takedown. A headlock's not a high percentage. Doesn't mean you can't have a headlock, but it's not high percentage. Very rarely in the NCAA finals do you see guys hit headlocks left and right. Right? An inside trip, a lap drop. That stuff's not high percentage. Good. Fireman's carry. Good. When I got to college, I had one move. A fireman's carry. I was really good at it. Really good at it. Until everybody saw it. Then I couldn't take nobody down. So I had to learn at 20 years old what was going to work against everybody. Right? So the very first thing you guys learned in, when you start wrestling was stance. So I need to have a good stance. I need to be able to have a shot to one leg and a shot to the other leg. That's simply from the same stance. That's it. You got to have a go-to takedown. <coughs> Nothing against a double leg. I won a national title. I didn't get one double leg in my whole high school or college career. You know why? I was too slow. Right? I could never. I wasn't quick enough to get two legs. I, so I thought, sounds a lot easier to get one leg. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to keep it as simple as we can. We got to have a shot to his right leg, and we got to have a shot to his left leg. That's it from the same stance. So you got to decide if you're a righty. If I'm a righty and I wrestle right-footed, or if I'm a lefty. If I'm a lefty. Now, I know there's guys out there that can drill both ways, but you better be able to take somebody down at least one way. So again, to be very, very simple, learn how to drill from the same exact stance so when you wrestle, how many guys ever seen Jordan Burroughs wrestle? <coughs> Jordan Burroughs is always ready to go. <coughs> he can go off at any time. At any time, he can go off. You don't see him going lefty and then righty. You've never seen him shoot a left leg and double leg. One stance. One stance where you're always ready to go. Where you always can explode. Where you can always get to either your high crotch leg or your single leg. That's all you got to know. It'll win you state title after state title. It won me a national title. And then all the other stuff you have is great. It pops up. It pops up. Man, when I got my, when I got a really good high crotch and a really good single leg, it's amazing how many more fireman's carries opened up. Because I had a pretty good fireman's carry. I had a really good inside trip. That stuff opened up. So you gotta get the basics. You gotta learn how to just drill basic stuff. I don't care if you're a righty or a lefty. How many guys know they're a righty for sure? Raise your hand, right? How many guys know they're a lefty for sure? That's about the percentage. Usually it's about 80, 20. There's not a right or wrong answer, but you gotta be able to know you're one or the other. Now if you really, really have a lot of time and you wanna really add to your wrestling and you wanna learn how to score lefty and righty, that's fine. I don't recommend it. I'm just telling you. Right? Get really, really good at one stance and two leg attacks. And if you're explosive, you can throw a double in there. If you're explosive. I never was explosive. Okay? So I've got to be able to just, from this position here, I've got to be able to get to this leg, and I've got to be able to get to this leg. Off the same stance, off the same first step, off the same two step, everything's got to be the same. I want to keep it really simple and really tight, right? So if he's a good partner here, what's your first name, Ricky? Charlie. Charlie, all right. Ricky, Charlie, something. Charlie, right? I want to make sure my partner's a good partner while we're learning today. So I want him just to be dumped, squared up. This isn't square. This isn't square. I want him to be squared up just to grab a hold of me. And all I'm going to do is just shoot some high crotches. I'm going to shoot some high crotches. I'm going to drill some high crotches. So he grabs a hold of me. Watch, so I'm going to step. Get my high crotch. Come up. I know, you guys have seen this a million times before. But let's get really good at it, right? Where I drill, and I try to make it as real as possible. So you notice when I shot and drilled, I didn't stand up every time. I stayed down on my stance. I learned how to get some inside ties right now. Because it's really, really basic. So right in here, right? Hit my shot. Stay down here. Hit my shot. Then as we get better at it, we're going to start adding combinations so we can get to the leg. You've got to have combinations. Combinations in boxing, I kind of look at it like boxing, but wrestling you've got to have touches. 
You've got to have a series of touches or reactions. The reality is stepping out and hitting low singles all day, guys, pretty easy to coach against. You're going to get them a couple times, but you've got to be able to score from a touch. You've got to be in here. You don't have to hang on forever, but you've got to have a series. Right, my series to get to my high crotch was about five touches. It was a poke, right? It was a head-to-head. -head. As soon as I got some pressure, it was a pull and a circle. As soon as I got into reach, it was a post. That's what I drilled. I drilled for about two, two and a half years. So I knew that if I had to get in a tough situation, go to takedown, 15 seconds left in the match, we go off the mat, off the mat, we come back to center. I tell my guys, I gotta know what you're gonna do. You know, it's a big match, I gotta know what you're gonna do. I should be able to watch you in the practice room and know what you're gonna do. Because your go-to hold's that good. I should be able to know the man Parker's gonna post up, he's gonna pull the wrist, he's gonna get in a circle, when the foot comes, he's gonna pop ahead, he's gonna step, he's gonna get a single. That's how detailed it's gotta be. So it's more than just shooting a high crotch in a single leg. So, you gotta have two basic shots. That was one of them. I showed you half of what you gotta know to be a national champ now. The other half is right in here, he ties me. I might just get a little pull here. I might get a little pull here. But I'm gonna shoot my single leg. Okay? All I'm focusing on is getting to come to me. Pull. I gotta get that foot coming to me. There it comes. I'm gonna swing it. I'm gonna swing it. There's the post, there's my high crotch. I do the same thing every time. That's got to be, that's all you got to drill. That's it. Go in three or four mornings a week for 25 minutes. How many shots do you think you can hit for 25 minutes? If you go high crotch, single leg, and he goes a high crotch, single leg. How many shots do you think you can hit in 25 minutes? A hell of a lot. A hell of a lot. So that's what I mean by repping it out. Rep out high percentage holds. You're going to figure out what your best high is. It might be an underhook to a high crotch. It might be a flare to a high crotch. But you gotta have two cases of hold. All right, so with your partner, don't go out and go crazy. It's Charlie's turn, look what I do. Here's your turn. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so what I do is I come back out right here. Go square, there he goes, knee pull, single. We're not going crazy 100 miles an hour. You gotta learn the hold right now. Really focus on not staying in our stance. If you get really good at this, man, you're gonna get great at wrestling. Your shape's gonna get good. If you go four or five minutes of drill where you gotta stay down, and between reps you can't do this, you gotta stay down. All right, Charlie, you gotta stay down for three holes, baby. You gotta stay down. I'm gonna stay down too. That's a really good solid drill right there. In 69 state champs, they had one thing in common. Everyone goes, they were great at drilling. If you watched them warm up, you're like, oh, jeez. I got that dude? That's all we did. That's all we did, right? Spread out with your partner. One, two, three.